How many, and don't answer this because I don't want to make you raise your hand and tell a lie. In your own mind, did you give everything you had and everything we did? Don't answer it. Just in your own mind, answer that question. Did you give everything you had for everything we did? If you did, there's some telltale signs that you did it. You should have sweat on you. If you're a teenager and you weren't late, you should be pouring sweat. You don't even have enough sweat to wet your hair. I can wet my beard with the sweat. You're not pushing yourself. You have to push yourself. I cannot push you. If you want awesome results, you have to have awesome commitment. You have to push yourself every night, every day. When you think about you, you're the only one that can control you. And you're the only one that can push you. You're the only one that can make you do things because nobody can make you do anything you don't want to do. How many of you think you can give a little more effort into that stretch? Raise your hand. Okay. Let's go back and do it. Everybody look at Miss Crystal. That's where you need to be. She's behind y'all in the front. She's in front of y'all in the back. She's the only one in here down to a split. A ridiculous split by the means. But you got a few of them that are close. Oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> but you're gonna do it anyway. Oh yes. Push it down. Come on, we got 15 seconds. I need 15 seconds of extraordinary grit. Extraordinary tenacity. You can spell tenacity, I'll stop. I didn't think so. And I'm using my ankles. And I'm definitely using my calves. And for some of y'all, you're using your arms too. But you need to be doing this. <laughs> your hamstrings and your quads are all good. They're warmed up, they're ready to go, right? Sir, sir. What have we left out? From the waist up, you gotta do that. So here's what we're doing. We're going from your knees. This is very easy to do. All you're doing is this. That's like a quarter of a push up. Very, very, you're just bending your arms and coming back. Same thing that we were doing with our feet. Just bend them, keep going. Don't go too much. All right, man. Relax, come back up to your knees. Pick that left foot up, stretch. Pick the right foot up, stretch. Keep working it while your arms recover. Nice little stretch. Keep, push your hip forward. Yes. So I'm gonna just go to the, the like the elite version. Hands come back up. Hands go down. Just like you're catching. Watch baseball. They squat down like that and catch. Comes back down the knees. Back up. Head is up. Hips are down. Knees are up. Feet are out. And back down. If you can't do that, walk it. The key to walking it out, you want to pick this foot out, put your hands on the floor and put your weight on the opposite side. Pick it up, push it, pick it up, push it. Everybody got it? All right, let's go. So here's what we're going to do. You're gonna start here and you're gonna be in the best guard position you can be in. And I got you on these dots, you're spread out. Cause we're gonna see how well can we can do each move. This is the first one. That's the move. One, two, three, four, Five, not, I want you to lock it out. I want you to become a statue.
I'm giving you the count. It's gonna be slow. I want you to focus on perfection. Cover your chin up with your shoulder. Turn your hips, follow the foot. You're on it. When you pull your hand back, you drop it down. The weight is on the balls of your feet so that you can pick those heels up if you want to. When you put the weight on the back of your feet on your heels, you lose your balance. So we're going from here, shuffle, down, cross, pull it back, reverse shuffle. Can we do it? Yeah. Come on.